Hi there. So today we're going to talk about math tests. Math tests are going to be given at different intervals based on the number of lessons we have in each topic that we study. Um, I wanted to show you an example really quick. Like the first topic that we have, there are four lessons. These problem solving lessons we address through our math homework each day, so we can kind of skip those. Um, we don't have a formal lesson with those, they're just kind of addressed in a more informal way, and that's, that's fine, They'll, your kids are gonna be fine. So, um, some topics are shorter, and some topics are much longer. This is the second one. So this is gonna be a couple weeks worth, probably two weeks worth of instruction, and then they'll have their test. This was four days, that's really not very much, because it's usually about a day per lesson. So. Um, when they have a math test, it will be online, it will be through Pearson. I will not assign the math test until right before the kids take it, just to make sure that they don't accidentally get into it and think it's a practice test when it's the actual test. Also, about four or five days before the test actually takes place, I will send home one of these. This is a practice test, and it is just for practice. They usually have a couple pages of multiple choice questions, and um, a couple pages of like short answer where they have to figure out the answer to the problem. And then there's always a higher level thinking question or two on the back. These are just for practice. I do not want them back. I do not grade them. But they are a great way for you as students and parents to know exactly what you're going to see, exactly the types of questions you're going to see on that math test. Math tests are 20 points each, and they'll be doubled in the grade book, so they'll go in as 40. And at the end of the day, after your child has taken a math test, you're gonna bring home either a huzzah paper saying that they scored um, whatever out of 20, um, and this test score will be available the next Monday on Skyward. If they bring home the blue paper, that means that they're happy with their score and they're not gonna have to retake it. If they bring home a yellow paper, that's upside down they bring home a yellow paper, that means that they scored whatever out of 20 and that they're going to want to take a retest. You have two weeks to take a retest on the math test. Retests are usually done during um, extra times during the day when we can kind of fit it in. Um, it's sometimes during RTI, occasionally we have to do one during recess, uh, just so that we can make sure that we give all kids opportunities to retake a test. So. That's how we do math tests in Mrs. Silly's fifth grade class. There you go. Everybody have a fabulous day and I'll see you later. Bye.